Well, I see we have another coolant leak here on the E60, that's the uh, V8 BMW. And you can see all the discoloration from the uh, coolant that's uh, crystallized on the uh, hot engine parts. And they'll have to be cleaned up, but that's the easy part. And it looks like it's the uh, coolant reservoir tank that split right in the corner and uh, it's leaking pretty bad so for this project we're going to go ahead and replace the coolant reservoir tank so let's get started so now we have our replacement tank here and you can see how it's made. You have several areas where the hose reconnect. You have three hoses that reconnect to the tank. And on the bottom you have a sensor next to the bottom hose that reconnects here along with a wiring harness uh, that comes from the vehicle that plugs into the uh, sensor. Okay, this area here is just used to seat the tank into the frame of the vehicle. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, disassemble and uh, reinstall the new tank. Now, as you can see, I've removed the cap on the reservoir. You want to make sure the engine is cool of course and that there's no pressure in the tank for hot fluid to uh, burn you. Okay and once the cover is removed you're ready to remove the tank itself. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the hoses the three hoses that plug into the tank. There's two at the top and one at the bottom. As indicated previously when I showed you the new tank. So to remove the hoses you're going to take a flathead screwdriver and place it on the tab and pull up and you'll hear it snap okay and from there you can remove the hoses now if there is any fluid still in the tank the, it'll come out when you remove the uh, bottom hose it'll gush out so uh, just be prepared to catch it uh, if you remove your bottom pan or engine cover then you'll be able to catch it with a uh, bucket but uh, in my case it's not that much fluid in the uh, reservoir and so it's not that much of an issue but I certainly encourage you to properly catch and dispose of the fluid Next you're going to remove the top screws using a T25 star bit socket. There's one located here as well as right here. Use a longer extension in order to better access the rear star bit screw. Once you've removed the two star bit screws, you're ready to lift the tank out of place. Now, don't lift it too 
quickly or too uh, aggressively because there is a uh, wiring harness that connects to the bottom sensor that must be first removed. That's important. You don't want to uh, pull it out of there before removing the uh, harness or you'll have a big problem on your hands.